Hello, and welcome to the Schooner Simulation. I'm your host, Michael Whitman, and this episode is sponsored by DraftKings. Sign up with the promo code TPPN using the link in the description. After staying alive last week against the Cyclones, the Sooners traveled to take on the Oklahoma State Cowboys in Stillwater, and Bedlam couldn't have higher stakes. For those that are new, we'll be simulating this rivalry matchup in NCAA Football 14, setting the AI to Heisman level difficulty and analyzing the gameplay footage. The updated rosters, courtesy of the Operation Sports Forum, are used to update players, and the college football revamp modification is used to update visuals. Check out links to both in the description below. Taking inspiration from previous Bedlam games, while OU sticks with their traditional white uniforms, I put OSU in an orange variant of the Marshall Badge uniforms we've beaten them in before. While the primetime crowd in Stillwater will be hot, the weather conditions look anything but. The Schooner Weather Composite tells us it'll be overcast with a temperature of 54 degrees and a wind speed of 3 miles an hour. Ugh, I'm getting nauseous just thinking about this matchup. What are your feelings going into this one, Bobby? Oh, I'm incredibly nervous. The Sooners have been shaky all season, and this Oklahoma State defense is as good as it gets. Feels like OU might be running into a buzzsaw with how Caleb Williams and the offense has performed. Let's take a look at the sim, though. I don't have high hopes. The Sooner offense takes the field first, and all throughout seem to want to make plays quickly. If the deep ball isn't there after about half a second, Williams tends to pivot to his short routes, and if those aren't there when he sees them, an attempt to take the ball himself is made. While I don't condone this panicky type offensive play, OSU doesn't seem to be able to do much about it and allows OU to keep slowly marching down the field. The problems occur when the deep ball is a short pass and the secondary doesn't have to spread out as much. The run game was kept squarely contained, with only a handful of rushes breaking the line of scrimmage. While this made it extremely difficult to find the end zone, Burkich is able to come out onto the field in prime position to put the Sooners up by enough to feel comfortable, but never safe, even when he nailed a 52-yarder going into halftime. Their strategy would change coming out of the locker room, and the run game came out swinging. This helped us progress down the field, and the frantic football flinging would continue with some success, but a determined Cowboys D-line ensured that the end zone remained untouched. The defense was undoubtedly the strongest we've seen them. Getting three sacks on the first drive of the game is not only a statement, but a threat. TFLs were plentiful and satisfying, and third down stops were the norm. No matter how many desperate tries OSU attempted to get their run game going, nothing seemed to light Jalen Warren's fire. They wouldn't start trying to pursue an air game until right before the end of the first half, finally finding the cracks in our secondary and taking advantage of it to find their first touchdown of the night. After the half, their battle strategy continued to be favoring passes, pedantically crawling down the field. But they still kept going back to their run game and continued to fail to establish anything other than how much of a brick wall our D-line is. The Sooners end up holding on to defeat the Cowboys 15 to 10. This one definitely comes as a shock to me. I double checked the depth charts to make sure everything was as it should be. I, what do you think's going on here, Bobby? Well, this is truly unexpected as the Sim is typically pessimistic on OU and the Cowboys feel like the better team. The only explanation I can think of is that NCAA 14 accounts for the classic poke choke in its algorithm, because this was certainly a turn of events that I did not see coming. That being said, if this happens, I will be over the moon excited. Like Bobby has said, and you all have seen time and again, the sim don't miss when it comes to hot takes. It predicted TCU upsetting Baylor. It was almost too accurate with our last game against Iowa State, but this, this is on another level. I can't believe I'm the one saying it now, but I think the sim has this one totally wrong. I ran three more sims with the most accurate depth charts I could set, and OU still prevailed, one matchup scoring over double the competition. Just to make sure I wasn't completely insane, I auto-set the OSU depth chart and ran one more matchup. And finally, the Cowboys came out the winner, but only by a touchdown. Look at the domination differences from OSU and OU's shared matchups. I just don't see it being possible unless we legitimately have an overabundance of Sooner magic left over from the rest of the season. Regardless, it is a rivalry. Anything can happen, and I'll still be screaming Boomer till the end, Big 12 Championship or not. Let us know what you thought about this hot take down in the comments below. After that, Go ahead and check out the videos linked here in the video's end slate to see more Schooner content.